what is the fundamental kind of philosophy behind the Hard Knocks program? Well, one of the things about the Hard Knocks um, program, we really help the kids get market that need the marketing to go on and receive a um, college scholarship. You'll probably see some of the kids that have come through here that you really haven't seen, haven't read about, don't know about. Those are the kind of kids we try to take out. We try to get them at the college camps like the University of Miami camp, the Florida State camp. We try to get them involved in a lot of the seven on sevens. Um, and we also try to preach character. You know, I'm, I'm a, I've been a coach for the last three, four, five years, and the colleges are big on character. So it, it's more than just football and more than marketing. It's, it's a package. You got to give the kid the whole package, and that's what we do here at the Heart Knox Foundation. Now, you see a lot of these camps, some of them might come in, um, you know, a little lost or, or don't have that direction. How do you guys take these kids and really mold them and have them focus and discipline um, to get into this mindset of being the total package? Well, one of the things we try to use is what we call peer pressure, meaning that we use the other, I use the other kids to help me help mold the other kids because sometimes the youth have a better way of reaching the other kids than me. So they'll grab, I got, I got leaders out there like your AJ Leggett who will grab the younger kids and encourage them, um, Elson Lane. These guys will grab these kids and encourage them and, and tell them, look, this is what we got to do. We got to work on SAT scores. We got to do this. We got to do that. We got to listen to our parent. So um, that's one of the tactics that we use in, in working and trying to mold these kids to have that whole package. Now, as director of operations, you're really working with the kids one-on-one, -on -one, I would assume, getting them in here and, and, and pulling them out of the streets and getting them onto the field. What is the reaction from, from the players, from all of these athletes, once they come into an organization like this? I really see it's not just about doing the scrimmages and running the drills, it's about discipline. Uh, the reaction from the players are, you know, what we try to get them to come in and understand that it's a family here, you know. They come in, have fun each day, work hard and get better and give them an opportunity to give them a chance, you know, to get better each and every day and doing something that they love to do, so. Now, we see um, their progress out on the field, you know, out on the surface as far as, as their speed and then their drills, but what what differences do you see in them as as far as their character and really growing in, into the men that they have to be to play at a college level? Uh, the main thing, just coming out, being on time, you know, start with the small things, coming out, being on time, uh, always being prepared, helping one another, you know, just the small things to get better and become a better person in life. Now, do they see the differences um, not only in football, but in their lives in general once they start putting these things into practice in their everyday lives, like in, in high school with their classes and things like that? Yes, that's, that goes back to what I'm saying. Uh, you come out here, just be on time every day. The same things apply when you're in school. Uh, just try to be on time for class and everything. Now, Coach, what is the biggest reward that you get from, from having well, these kids out here? Well, you know what, you know, and I tell the kids, my biggest reward is seeing them graduate and doing, being a productive citizen in our society because um, we teach them that everybody's not going to go to college playing football. Everybody's not going to make it to the NFL. Um, one of the things we do, um, we get a chance to take a trip down to Willie Gary Law Firm office. And um, when we were down there with Mr. Gary, he talked to the kids and um, he said a couple of things that touched a lot of them. One thing to never forget, he told them, he said, you remember Michael Jordan? Michael Jordan made $23 million in one year. He said, last year I tripled what Michael Jordan made as an as attorney. That's Willie Gary. And guys like that I appreciate who allow us to bring kids down there to learn to be a part of that package, along with guys like um, the RDR, Dr. Nickeljohn, who works with the kids and promote the kids, along with uh, Miguel um, Lopez, who's with uh, GVP Production, and then, you know, just the whole Lale family, you know, because it takes a whole community to um, raise a kid, you know, and to help us accomplish our goal, which is to mold these kids to be great in society. What is the biggest uh response from the kids and the parents um, once they've really started with your program? I think I, I, at the end of the day, the kids always call me up and say, Coach, we learned a lot from you. You know, like, like um, Coach Alfonso said, time. 
You got to be on time because if you get a job, if you're late, they're going to fire you. You have to be on time. One of my kids, um, I love to death, Jermaine Graham calls me because when he was in high school, I said, son, some days you're going to have to go when you don't want to go. That's something you have to do. And uh, he calls me, he said, coach, I learned that. Some days I have to go when I don't want to go. So those are the little things like Mr. Bryan was talking about that we try to instill in these kids. And, um, um, and that's our goal. Our goal is at the end of the day, some of these kids – not going to play NFL. Some of them may not go to college, but if you don't go to college, that does not mean you can't run a business. My uncle, he runs his he runs a lawn service business. You know, his budget, it's over 2.5 million dollars a year, you know? And um I have a college degree and I'm a school teacher making 30,000 a year. <laughs> so, I mean, you you understand we, we, we I try to teach them that's all kinds of different ways of being successful, you know? Well, thank you, Coach, and great job with these kids. Thank you.